Hello, and welcome to another training session with computer tutoring. Now this time we're going to have a look at an issue, a problem that one of my clients had a couple of weeks ago, and I've already got a formula to answer this on YouTube, and sometimes people may think it's a little bit complicated, so I just wanted to show you the easy way of doing that. So what the problem was is that you see these numbers here, these are the numbers that are represented by the European way. The company I was dealing with dealt a lot with Germany. And so when they were dealing with euros, 2,100 pounds would be two dots, zero, zero, comma, zero, zero, or 45 dot, 266, comma, 11, for 45,266 pounds and 11 pence. So obviously we need to convert the comma to the dots and the dots to the comma or the other way around. So how do we do it? Well, we're going to use text to column. So first thing I want you to do is if you're on the home tab is just click on the data tab here at the top. So you can just click on this data tab. Then just highlight the column, just click on A at the top. So the whole column of the figures uh, that you want to be converted is uh, selected rather. Then click on text to columns. So you can see text to columns. Give that one there a click. Excellent. So that's good there. So make sure the first option is delimited. So make sure delimited is selected. And then click on next. Next, make sure that in the delimiters, there's nothing checked in these check boxes here. Just make sure that there's nothing checked. That's good. And then we're going to click on next. And the next part or step three of the wizard, I want you to click on the advanced button. So this advanced button so that we can start sorting this issue out. So what I'll do is I'll select them and then zoom in so you can see uh, the options. The decimal separator, the first one, I'm going to click on this drop down list and I'm going to choose the comma for the decimal separator because that's what the decimal separator here is. Next, I want to choose the thousand separator. So I'm going to click on the drop down list and choose not the second, but the bottom one. That's good. Just going to zoom in just to make sure I've got the right one. Oops, sorry, the wrong one that I've got there. Let's click on the drop down list again and choose that's it. It's going to be up the second one. So if we choose the second option here, that's good. So if I just zoom back in again so you can see the first one, the decimal separator is the comma, the thousand separator is the full stop. So that's the European way of doing it or Germany's or France's way of doing it but uh, we want to convert that. Good. Click on OK. Now next, I want you to select where it says $A, $1 for the destination. We don't want it to go over the top of our current number so we can compare the values. We're going to click on B1 and then we're going to click on Finish. And there we have it. Numbers as we would recognize them. The 2100 .00, 45000,266.11. And just to prove the point, what I'm going to do is click at the bottom here in B4. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and press equal. Nice little shortcut for auto sum. I'm going to press enter on the keyboard and you can see that the numbers add up. Alternatively, if I click on this part here and then do the Alt and equals and try it, well, it doesn't even find any numbers at all. Let's just see if I can select the numbers here and then force it to add them up. Well, no, I can't. It comes up as a zero. They are text, not numbers. In fact, if you look at the alignment of them, uh, make the columns wider so you can see, text is ordinarily, unless you override it, is aligned to the left, numbers are aligned to the right. So there we go. It. So in a nutshell, you go to data, text to columns, and it's important that we make sure that we get the column, the decimal, um, and the thousand separator correct. Just make sure we get that uh, correct. Brilliant. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe. And if you like, then give it a good old thumbs up and keep a watch out for more videos that will be coming on regularly. Thank you so much for watching.